I began the project with a positive attitude to learn, but a setback happened immediately. The lathe stopped a couple of times while turning. My last video about learning the lathe got a lot of comments. I thank all of you for commenting and getting engaged in my learning process. Your comments really helped me to do more homework and inspired me to take on beginner friendly projects to continue my wood turning learning. I researched beginner friendly projects and found that turning a rolling pin is one of them. For the rolling pin, I selected walnut. I started the project by using a rolling pin as a reference and cutting the workpiece to the size. Then I marked the center of the top and bottom for mounting the headstock and tailstock. I also drew a line in the center of the workpiece for the tool rest reference. I began the project with a positive attitude to learn, but a setback happened immediately. The lathe stopped a couple of times while turning. After some research, I found that the tailstock was not tight enough and it was a new lesson learned. To fix the issue, I used a mallet to secure the headstock to the workpiece, then made sure that the tailstock is tight when mounting it to the spindle. After mounting, I started turning and the spindle did not stop. The workpiece is around 17 inches and my tool rest is only 6 inches, so I started turning 6 inches at a time. I want to clarify that this is not a how-to video. It's a documentation of my journey learning to turn wood on a lathe and sharing my process with you. Any feedback you provide on my process will be valuable in helping me improve. After turning the workpiece from square to round, I noticed it wasn't symmetric. To correct this, I used a digital caliper to identify the high spots and carefully remove excess material. Marking the lowest point as a reference, I continued the turning process to achieve symmetry in the workpiece. For the handles, I marked an equal distance from both ends and began turning. I stopped when I felt the grip was satisfactory. I noticed that the roller was proportionally larger than the handle so I removed some material to achieve the desired diameter. I used the round carbide turning tool to make a smooth curve between the roller and its handle. Then I used the same tool to give the handle a nice tapered shape. And finally to finish the turning of the roller pin, I used a diamond carbide tool to add some details on the handles.
I began sanding with 100 grit and concluded with wet sanding using 320 grit. Between the grits, I used water to enhance the wood grain. I noticed that one of the handles was not proportionate to the other, so I used the table saw to trim the excess, then sanded the ends. Finally, I completed the roller pin with a single coat of food grade mineral butcher block oil. I applied one coat, waited for half an hour, and then removed any of the excess oil. If you are still following along with this build and have found the video enjoyable, expressing your support by subscribing to my channel and engaging with likes or comments would greatly contribute to its growth. Your interaction serves as a motivation for me to produce more content. So if you could take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like the video and drop a comment, it would be genuinely appreciated. I am pleased with how this project turned out, considering it's my second project on the lathe. I'm getting used to operating the turning tools correctly. While there is still a lot to learn to perfect the skill, I'm taking it one step at a time. In my next turning project, I plan to finish turning the bowl I started. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll keep you posted on my wood turning journey. Thanks for staying with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.